Mm. I was asked before the Gulen was another topic, so we'll start with that. Uh, There is a shy little chuvis from about this time 120 years ago. It's called Matzev Hayosher. That's the name of Shalas Chuvis. The Mechaber's name was Absalman Gordon. He was a big guy, no question. He wrote uh, <coughs> two volumes, and it's Shalas Chuvis on Zaya. Anyways, he brings there an interesting story that there was a woman who was married to a husband who was a big, big Talmud Chachem and a big Yer Shemayim, like a very special, and Leia Leinu, he passed away very young. So they came to him, the father and other relatives, and they said that she doesn't want to marry again. Why? She's afraid, because she's afraid when will come to hear some sin. She will not go back to her first husband, but rather to the second husband. And Bibal, the first husband, was very special. She doesn't want to get married again. She's not made it. She doesn't want to have that. So he answered that there's the fetish in Zayar and Parshish Bedacious. The Zayar says, from here we learn out, Nukva. A woman is napsis betrayed. A woman who got married twice. Who alma means la asid lave. A hadrus lekadma. She goes back to the first husband. That's the lush nazaya, and that's how the first shim taich pshat in the zaya. That in this situation, you know, if they were both already nifter. So she goes back to the first one. So he told her, so he told them, tell, tell you, she had nothing to worry about. But then he asked a question. Everyone knows in Parashas Kisait say there's a din, a lav, that a woman who was divorced, and if she did not be married, then that's a mitzvah, the haksik mishatzik. But once she married somebody else, there's a love. Achre, once she married to Tama Labaila, to the second one, she's not allowed to return to the first one. So he asks, how could we say in this case that she goes back to the first one? Shouldn't be a problem of taking her back after she married somebody else already? That's how this Mechaber asks the question. This is a and he's Meirich. The answer that he gives is interesting. He says there's a sefer which is called Igeres Hatil, which is the Mechaber, the author was the, the brother of the Maral, and he was also a Chaver of the Ramah. The Chaim Bemitzal, that was his name. So he writes like this. He explains why is it this is in Parshish Kisayt say, why is it Taka that a woman who married somebody else, the first one cannot take her back? So he says, I have a, I, I, I was macabre a reason, because if it'll be mutter after she married somebody else, so he writes like this, it could happen that the rich man will want to marry the poor man's wife. So we'll give her money, he says, you know what? I'm giving you money, divorce her, for a short while, and he will live with her, Makadish, live with her for a short while, and then she'll go back to the first one. And this whole thing is not, is the Indian, that's what it is, it's Achrei Ushutama, that she became, un this whole thing is not a proper thing, it's an Indian of Hefker, and so on, he wants to live with his wife for a while. So that's why the Taita said, that once she's with somebody else, he, you cannot return her. So Bemele, the poor man will never be masked. He's masked him for a short while, for money. No. That's what he brings 
This I'm quoting from the Sefer of the Maral Drav. The Mele he wants to say, La Asad Love, after Tchias Hamesim, the Frat, there won't be any such a thing as the Eitzahara and this whole thing, and Taiva, the Chulum. So then there won't be any more Isser of Maxi Gushase. And the Mele, the Zayr could say very well that she goes back to the first one. Actually, I don't understand. Actually, the Ramban in Parshish Gitzayt, it says very similar to this. The Ramban says the reason of this love is He doesn't bring it up, not even for a rich man, a poor man. He says, people will switch around. At night he writes a get, the next day he'll come back again. And that, says, that, that brings Chatoim, of the Indian of Nus. That's what the Ramban writes the Fadish clearly in Pash and Satan. So I'm saying it's very similar to the Maral's brother. He says a poor man and a rich man, but it's the same concept. That people will decide, you know, today you take this and back and forth. The Tater didn't want that, and that's what. So that's what he answers that La Asad Love after Tias Amason. We will not have any more problems of Yitzhara and Taiva, so the issue doesn't exist. But in general, it's a very, everyone knows how Taita in Yitzchis. It's hard to say that all the Avedas, which the Taita said, Mishum Yitzchah, there's many things in the Taita, let's say, Baal Yirah, Baal Yimach, say Pesach. So many Rishayim say, the Ram, it's a Syav, you shouldn't come with the Achila. Why suddenly by Chomets you say, Baal Yirah, Baal Yimach, say Because the Baal, you're used to eating it a whole year. So the tater said, don't even have it in your house. And there's many things the tater we find, it's Mishum the Yetzirah or whatever. So it's a hard thing to say that all the mitzvahs, the Avedis, which is reduced it on, based on the Yetzirah, are going to be bottled. Everyone knows how tater in Nitzchis, the Rambam writes, that all the Tayyad mitzvahs that he counted is La'ad, La'elme, and Lamim, even after Mashiach. And it, to die to Bavarin, you know, you know, we paskin mitzvahs betayleis la'asad lave. That mitzvahs la'asad lave will be bottled. And the al Tanebe Tanya writes that refers to achat triyas hamesim. After triyas hamesim, mitzvahs will be bottled. So if that's the case, there will be no more mitzvahs, no more lave, no more esses. So what is the call the whole problem of Maxim Shasi? So I just I figured out just by one, it's important to know that there's many Rishenim who learn that La'asad Lave doesn't mean when Mashiach will come after the Islamism. La'asad Lave means when a person is nifter while he's a mess, there's no mitzvahs existing. But that, that Gdailim aren't mitzvah to watch him, he shouldn't do an Avedis. Like you're allowed to bury him with kilayim while he's, you're allowed to him without sitzes and so on and so on. You're begging without sitzes because why was it? And, and, and the Rashba, the Rambam learns like that. The Rashba, the Marshal says, the love of Achat here, Kavam, we say, Mitzvah Tayl, it doesn't mean Achat here, it's amazing. Elizmand Misa Kara La Asid Lave. And we find the Lash Nagamara many times it says La Asid Lave. Doesn't mean La Asid Lave when Mashiach comes. It means in the future. And he teaches that Kiva Shemais Adam when you're Mais, you're part of Namitzis. And he wants to say that even Gdalim are not Mishadim to do Avedes, just like dress them with Kalayim and so on. Because the Gemara speaks about this. If you're allowed to bury him in Kalayim or not. And he says, Vibal, by there's such a thing that Dalim are commanded on Kitanim not to give them any Aveda, not, not to make them be Aver Aveda. So, so, he wants to tell us that by Mess is not doing that. All right, I'm just saying, the Rajba, the Rajba, the Ramban, the Ribosh, there's many Rishayim like that, that mitzvahs. Even after the Chiyas Hamesim, will be just like before. The Ritva writes Take that I don't like this pshat, and I asked the Rajbo, and I asked him, how can you compare a mess? Maybe I cotton, you understand, because it's chinuch. 
but a master is a smarter that there should be a mitzvah. And he writes there the Ritva Nidr that the Rajba tried, answered me, but I don't like his Tirutz. Whatever. But the fact is, there's such a shit, a big shit in Shainim, that La'asad Lavi only means when he's a mess. But later, there'll be, so according to this shit, for sure, there's the problem of, what the whole discussion is only according to the shit, that even after Tris HaMetzim, there's a din that mitzvahs are existing. Good. And then there's another Shaz of Chumash, which is called Rav Pa'olim, from the Ben Ishchai, which I'm sure you guys heard of him, the Ben Ishchai, his father was a big, big Kohen. He wrote many, many Svarim. So in his Shaz of Chumash, he writes a tshuva to this mechaber. He got the tshuva from this, uh, from this uh, matzah vayosha, and he writes to him like this. First he says, first he says that I can tell you maybe from the Zayar there's no raya, because I could touch that the Zayar means maybe in Ganeid. He brings the Arizal that even after a person, when they go to the and Ganeid and so on, there's also, the woman goes where the husband is. I can put it for a time, for a, a time. So maybe the Zaya is speaking about not La'asla, but he is amazing, but rather speaking about Ganeid. But then he says, no, all the Mephoshim doesn't look like it. So he agrees with him that the Zaya is Mashmatake, like you said, then it goes back to the first. The question is, what about the love of Le Yuchal Lachze the Catholic. What about Machze? He's taking back his. She was married to somebody else. So he says a big, big Kiddush over here. He says that the goof that comes, that gets Nechaye, that gets revived by Kiyas Mason, it's a total. It's a different goof. It's not the same goof which was here by Elam It's a different goof. And all the connections which was created now through the goof is bottled. There's a new Metzius, there's no connection. Let's say uh, here, the Baal, this woman married the first one and then she married the second. So the question was, there's a lot, it's up to that. Because the Baal, it's a new goof. So I have no connection to the, neither the first, neither the second, but the male, Shai suddenly bowed that this is her first husband, like this was Kilo, that was Mulmaila. So the male, she goes back to her first husband. He says there's certain mitzvahs which is connected with the Nishama. <coughs> that will be even after the case of Mesa, because the Nishama is for sure the same Nishama. For instance, he says, Kibut Ava A. But Kis Hamason for sure will be Kibut Ava A. Because it says that Kibbutz is not only because he, the parents gave you the goof, but also they were mounted the neshama to you. They brought the neshama. And it's not a neshama, there's no connections. So in Mele, there'll be an Indian of Kibbutz for sure, and they told me, told me, everyone it says, okay, there'll be an Indian of Kibbutz by Kibbutz. And interesting, very possible, you know, the father could be maybe 20 years old when he was Nifta. They, they get up like the way the way they die. The son could be 80, because he the son was lifted when he was eight. So, but here's how Mason, the son who's 80, would be Mechabit, his young father who could be 20. <laughs> Anyways, so that's his Kiddush. His Kiddush is that here's how Mason is a new goof, and in Yonim of the goof, has no connection to whatever happened before. So maybe you can't say Mahzik or Shasuga, he's taking her back. Because this goof was never, not with the first, not with the second. Yeah. That's what he's in the Kaddish. Then the whole Machlech is with the Rambam and the Ramban about the Shabbat's goof. Like that's, um, if it has to do with the goof, then it would be the same goof, no? Uh, why? The question is, Lady Ramba, Lady Ramba, Elam Azad, Nishame is Billy Guffin, Tris Hamasim is Begufim, and Lady Ramba, Tris Hamasim is Nishame is Begufim. But 
whether it's the same or not, that's already a different question. We'll soon speak about it more. Good. So, so the Chayr, it's a very good tenet, it's a uh, very sky. He says, we being that the connection is a group to get connection, and now it's a new group, so you can't say there's an instant of taking back his wife. Uh, on the other hand, we find that there's a Pirush, Anaf Yosef in Ein Yankov, in St. Hagrid, and he brings down from certain Svarim, he says clearly she'll have to go back to the second because there is an Isser, she's not allowed to go back to the first. I'm just saying there's some arguing on this because of this question. And interesting, <coughs> this Indian is brought down even the halacha today. When Leyalainu, if somebody is, a, a, a woman is nifter, and she, she had two husbands, <coughs> the question is now, where do we macabre her? Where do we, where, de, where do we bury her? Either with the second one or the first. So Paiskim of ours man today, there's different Charles of Chubis that get into this whole thing that the Baal Desire said she goes back to the first. So Mele, unless she said that guy wants the second, it's something else. But normally when there's no indication at all, the din is, as he passed in the day, Paiskim, that she goes, she's buried next to the first husband. Because of this, because La Ostad Love she'll remarry the first husband. However, he assumes that Tchis HaMesim is for sure a Guf Chodesh. Now, there is, the Rebbe speaks about this in the Chedek Yudches the Kutusiris. The Rebbe writes there, there's a statusium amesech des nida. Uh, the Rebbe writes there that Tchis HaMesim could be learned and explained in two ways. I'm reading the Lush. As with Leiden, something will remain from the first goof, but there'll be an addition to the first goof. <clears throat> They'll build up the first goof, that's one way. Base, it'll be a even from his Hatshus HaGuf. Nothing will be left from the goof from his Metzias. It'll be totally a different goof. And he brings, in the Sikh, he brings, we find two different medrash. One medrash is that the Matthias HaMesim is going to be from the Etz and Luz. I'm sure you know there's a certain bone, some say it's in the back, it's called Etz and Luz. The Matthias HaMesim, this Etz and Luz could never be destroyed. As they say, that whatever they tried to, I mean, sure, tried to bang it, it, they couldn't destroy it. That's called, now, why Etzim Lewis? So it says in Svarim and Paiskim, they bring in Simon Sheen and Erechayim, he says like this, Etzim Lewis only lives from Sudas Mlava Malka. Another one, speak about Malka, it says that that's why it's always chai v'kayim. It could never, there's no misa in that. Why? Because misa was nixar by other militia mishum chait etzadas. However, the etzam luz didn't eat anything till Mitzvah Shabbos, so he had no connection. He didn't have any anah from the etzadas. The mele, the misa was not nixar on this etzam. <coughs> Because Mises, is because of Etzadas. However, Baltas eats and loose, only eats from Malka. So that is why. Anyway, so this is one day, uh, I'm sure you know, that brings very much to the that Tris is from Etz and loose. Then the driver brings another Eitzim, a Pirkid Rebbe Lazar. In Pirkid Rebbe Lazar says that Tris HaMesim, he doesn't say Etz and loose. His lashon is that the goof will remain a little spoon of rekev. Rekev means sand, rotten, it's rotten. 
and this will be mixed up with Afar or Aretz, like you do in Aisa, and from there will be it Chies HaMezim. So the Rebbe says that this is really a different shit. Because in Malachah, there is a difference between Reke, the Rebbe Tume, and Etzel Luz. The Rebbe says we use in the order. He explains. Rekev is like sand, is metame only by masa and oil. Because you have to have a shear of zayas in order to become tame. If you touch rekev, you didn't touch zayas because each piece is like sand, it's separate. That's why only when you pick it up with zayas or you're by oil where this mess of rekev is inside, so you come to it. is metame the culture. No, no matter what, you touch it, at some loss, you touch it. So the Rebbe says, so we see from here that in Allah even, there's a big difference. And the Rebbe says that if we learn like the Medrash, that the Tchiyas HaMesim is from at some loss, then the Pshat is, it's not a Guf Kodesh. Because it's a re we're re rebuilding the first Guf, like the Rebbe said, the Losh. Mashay came, if you learn, he touched them. That is the case of the whole goof, there's nothing left. It's just a little sand there. Nothing from the goof alone, because we changed over already to Rekev. Then it's taka considered like a goof Doesn't the Rebbe hold that the first marriage is from Milo? Doesn't the Rebbe hold that the first shidduch is from Milo? A person? Doesn't the Rebbe hold that the first shidduch, the first marriage is from Milo, the second one is from Yisrael? Bob's end, Bob's end, Bob's No, he puts it down, down, no? What does it have to do with this? Uh, explain. If, How did that? If it has to do with that with the Nisham, it doesn't make a difference about the Gufa. It's not a connection between the Gufa, it's a connection between the Nishamas. No? The first Tivik is Nishamas, so, so on. Uh, no, but I mean, the Easter of Maxi Gashase is Mitzat the Guf. Because he, his Guf married. Mit the Guf, there's a connection. However, if it's considered like a new person, I'll soon see, I'll, I'll speak a little bit more soon, wait. And interesting, the Rebbe brings a riot that it's two separate shittas, because, like this, in Gemara Sanhedrin and Medrashim, it says all over that when the Ebishter will make Chiyas HaMesim, the Kuf, will come up exactly the way it was nifter. If the kuf had mumim sick, they'll come up just like that. And the reason is because people shouldn't say that somebody else, as you say, to read the lotion of the Medrash. Uh, and the Zayah says the same thing. People shouldn't say it's somebody else. So he brings up the kuf exactly the way it was nifted. Mashake in Pirkei the Rebbe Lezer, it says, Befedish, when the kuf comes, there'll be a totally beloy mum. Why? Neshita Sayu, they go according to Neshita. The Madrash learns that it's at some laws, it's the same kuf. So the Mele brings up the kuf exactly the way it is with the mum. And the reason they say is people shouldn't think it's somebody else. The male, uh, and of course, right away, the Eivishter will heal them. But when he comes out, like at Chile, it'll be exactly the way he left. However, the big Kedem Lezer holds that it's a new goof. So the Shittah say he says, Taka, will be believable. So, so, where my point is that the Chiddush, the, the Rat Pa'olim says that it'll be a new goof and has no Isur at all with Machzir, take her back. I'm saying, we see it's not such a simple thing. The Rebbe says clearly that there's a shit in Pirkei Rebbe Lazar who learns that, that it'll be exactly the same goof. Uh, is there, no, the, there's a shit there, there's a shit there that holds if we learn at some so it's not a new goof, it's the same goof. And the bout, la halacha, we find and place him, everyone brings at some loose. It seems like that everyone holds like the medrash 
and the Zayar, that the Etzam Luz is the one that has a many similar drop down in Shkhanor, like not the mile of eating Blava Malka, because you're giving the Etzam Luz, the Gate Chitz Amesim, the Chulam Chulam. According to this, that we namon la locha, we accept our locha, that his hamesim is from etzem luz. But is common, clearly, that it's the same goal. In the shver, in the shver lechayim from the zayar, I'm saying how could we go back to the first chapter? So I would say something else. I mean, I could, according to the Maral's brother, and according to the Namba. See, we don't have to say that loss of love at the age of is going to go away, that Vader is going to come away. Because we find, like I said, many things in the Shumi Yetzirah and there will still, mitzvahs will exist. We can say a of simple way. The Baal, the whole Easter is we used to that people are going to make plans. Marrying, divorcing, and so on. That's only shy by Grusha, by divorcing. When it comes to dying, it's not a person saying, oh, I'll die, I'll get up tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the Yoda, it's not his. So I would say that the whole Yisit doesn't apply over here. Being that the entire Yisit is me Yisit because people are going to today, you know, the poor man or the Ramban. So the Mele, dot Vashteich. But it comes to an Indian of Misa, when he was, and then he, Tchir Samesim, it's not the other person to do it. So I would say, it says, the Torah speaks clearly after Grusha. However, after Tchis HaMesim, I would say that the whole Israel never existed to begin. The Mele, we could say, that's what it is. Now, uh, interesting enough, the Chassam Sefer brings down in Tchelet Vav and his Tshuvas, he brings down this whole Shaka Utaya, and he has a new way how to learn. He says like this. He says, the Gemara says in Saita, that Zidu Krishna and Abayim Yain Kaidim with Zidus Avlad, Mafrizim, Bath Plain in the Plain. Frak the Gemara that here we see it, Lefi Maisa, this is like Asha. Zidu Krishna, the first is Milmaila. Zidu Krishna, when he marries later, then it's Lefi Maisa. So this is the Pirsha Bashi. I have, I think I'm Muslim Dich. There's a guy, he wants, you know, he divorced his wife, and a while later, he remarried her. So somebody asked him, like, uh, what, what, my, he caught him, like, what did you think in the beginning? He says, for Zivik Shaney, she's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, some safer says like this. He says, I heard a different shot in the mother from Dariza. He says like that. Zivik Rishay means that the Katkhila, when they're created, the Neshamas are created, each one is a half a goof and it's felt near a tzura shlema. So the Tchilas Habriya, the Abishta created like two parts of a Nisham. And that is because there shouldn't be any chsarin in the creation of the Abishta. The everything's really two parts, has to be two parts, has to be two parts. So the first Hachraza, he says, we only look how their tchundas there are with Tzadam Shama. That's called Zivak Rishon. The way it's Nikva Lamaila, originally, that this the Shama belongs to the Shama. However, after a person goes out, La'avra Elam, and then there is Pchire. Every person has Pchire. He could do Pchire, you know, Pchire Chavshis. So later it might change, and he will change the way he was before, and that's why he'll marry something else. Somebody else? Because right now, according to his Anhoge, Pchire is one way, and in his other, the real other half is in a different way. That's called Zivuk Shaini. That's what I heard in the name of Deliza. So the male, so he says like this. It's possible that today, even by Ziva Grishen, even by Ziva Grishen, possible that the person didn't marry the one who, the Katchile, the Ace, Briasan, the Shama, whatever, that that was his Ziva. 
Because there was purely out of the Tchunet Zavit HaRan Possibly, like you said, if there was Chira and she acted differently, yeah. So that's called Zivak Shaili. So he says, La us in love, a, but there'll be no Chet. It'll be like Chet and Chet, and everyone will be pure. He says, people are going to go back to their original Zivak Mamayla, even though he never lived with her today. This, that's what he all that, that. The Baal, this is the original Zivak that was original Mamayla. And that's what, how it'll be by Tchiyas HaMesim. Will be only Taira and so on, there won't be any, any Halamas or Taira. So he says, he holds that what's gonna be the, the that he, they'll go back to the original was Machet, even though the Pearl Mama, she never married her. I'm just mentioning that from Sefer. No, to sound. Uh, I just wanted to put on here to her. You know, it says clearly by Tchiyas HaMesim that everyone is going to know everyone, their families. Oh, the Zaydis, the Alta Zaydis. And, and the Achreinim explained it, the base of the Kim, that is from the Mabit. Big, big. So he writes how it worked, the Mashal. They'll get up, so the father will recognize you. The other father, from there to there, each one will recognize somebody who was in his time. And that's how it's going to go, mamish till the others. Everyone will remember a generation, like the father will know his father, his father will know his father. And everyone will know their family is at Saif Kaladeiris, at least state, and high gone rights, and yeah. And it's also, Negei and Legabit Kibadav, that you have to know who's your father. L'cha'ira, if we say it's a new, it's a new goof, how would one recognize the other? How could it be? They're different. The Medrash says, uh, the Medrash says, and the Zayar, that the reason why they get up the way, the way they were, she recognized, but according to the Pirkin of Eleazar, that he wakes up and he gets up without a mum. And it's like a new goof. Like, did I explain to new? How would they recognize? So, I saw him, there's a very nice safe, it's called Amun Safti, he says, what do they call the Pshat? that you have to make, you should get up with a mum, so we would recognize him that this is the one who passed away. He says, don't you, even if he does not know, if he's the one, you, 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 you see his face. And he says, I'm so-and-so. And if you're afraid, even with a mum, you can say it's somebody else. What's the big deal? Why should he think it's somebody else? If he alone says, it's me. And there'll be people who know before the mum. What's the big deal? That's why my mum, the mum. So he says, Another pshat. I mean, but negate to what we're speaking about. He says there's two ways how to learn Tchiyas Hamesh. Either it's the same goof, or it's a goof chadish. So he's talking. Everyone admits for sure that no matter what, even according to Pirkei of Lezer, the Hamesh will create a new goof that's going to look like the old goof. There's no question about it. That is his kolab. The question is not that they'll think it's somebody else. They'll think maybe it's him, but it's a new goof. And he brings the Gemara and Sanhedrin that it must be the same goof. The Gemara gives a marshal in Sanhedrin about uh, 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 a summa and a figure. You know, a, a blind guy and somebody who can't walk. But when they did something in the yard, they, they worked for the king, they, in a garden, whatever, and the only way they could have done it, the king was, is one with the other. He had eyes and he had feet. So when it comes to reward them, he says, I have to reward both of you. I can see for sure that one without the other couldn't do it. As he stated in one of the same it's the same Mason. Why, why is it Tchiyas Mason? He says the reason is because being that the mitzvahs, the matter of mitzvahs, could not be performed only with the sham of the goof together, right? The sham alone, the goof, the goof we learned Tayra. So the schar is dafke neshama b'kuf. The same guf that did that vayish get the reward. He is amazing. Pirkei Nevelos obviously hold a different time. There's different time in why neshama b'kuf. The Rebbe and the Gitzkeinus. They he has another reason. <coughs> but he explains that the Medrash says like this. The Medrash says that the Eibishter makes them get up in mumam. Not because we'll think it's somebody else. We'll think it's them, but we'll think it's a goof chadash. 
It's them, same person, it'll look exactly the same, but they'll think it's a goof chadash, it's not the same goof. And the kavan is the dafke, like the, he says, like a summa, like dafke to pay the same goof for this guy. Because the, he did the Torah mitzvahs. Goof without the shama can do the shama without a goof can. And Mirvon Dr. Shell clearly that the same goof that did the Torah mitzvahs, that's what is getting up now. And it's not the pshat, a goof that looks like him, it's a different goof. That's not right, because the Ahom is scaring the goof alone. So that's how he explains. And that's the kavan of the medish, not that literally we'll think it's somebody else. We'll think it's another goof, but it's this person. So the Mele al is answered the question I asked. According to Pickard and the people won't, won't recognize each other. I say, of course it will. Because it's, they're going to look the same. The Kula everyone agrees, they'll look the same. The question is the same goof or the new goof. And here is the math like this. Now, uh, the, <coughs> I'm, I'm finishing, so I don't want to. The Russian. The Lama Kshem Sha Adam Hai, the Lushan Medish, Kshem Sha Adam Hai, the Kahuba, the way he left, that's how he got back. Shalayim Luxu Chayim, when they were alive, he didn't heal them. When they were dead, they got cured. It looks like they're different. And she said, so Abazai let them get up. He's amazing exactly the way they left. Now, there's an interesting word like this. There's a Gemara in Brachas that says like this. Rabzeira became Leolainu sick. Rab Zayda Cholash. All the Gabay Rababo. Rababo went into Bimvaka Khaila. And then he said like this, I Mizbach. If Rab Zayda will be cured, he called him Ktin Kharak Sat. In Gemara is called Ktin and Rab Zayda was very small. Zayda means small actually. And Kharak Saka means the one who burned his foot. The whole thing he ran away and he he was hiding stuff, whatever, and he burned his foot. And he, ran, he hit himself in the oven. Akhapanam, Rabbi Bo says, if he'll be have a full shlema, I will make a suda, a yontif for the rabbi. So he made a suda, and of Zayda is another word for cured. Now, when it came to make the bracha on the challah, you know, I'm only given to the, the, the habit to be beitzei at the bread to make the bracha be made everyone cut for everyone. Rabbi Bo, who's the one who made the suda, tells Rabbi Zayda, "I'm a habit you to be beitzei to cut the bread, make the bracha." So he says, "Don't you hold like Rabbi Yechen who says Balabai is beitzei that the Balabai is the one who should do it." All right, so he did it. Rabbi Bo cut the Beit Seyed of When it comes to benching, Amar Leh, he asks, Rabbi Bo asks Rabbi Zayda, Nidbarech Lanmar, you go bench, you're bench. So he says, don't you hold of Rabbi Huna, who said that the one who is Beit Seya, the one who cut the challah to begin with, he is the one who should bench? And the Gemara says, what was Taka the Svara of Rabbi Bo? Why did he Ask him, you bench when he's the one who bits it. says, because he holds up the Gemara like Rabbi Yechir and Mishim Rabshim and Mayachoi. That what? That Balabai is Beitseya. The Balabai is the one who cuts the bread, the chal, whatever, and the Eirech bench. Why? He says, Balabai is Beitseya. The Balabai should do it because he's, it's his Balabai, so he should give everyone beyond the Chav. The other guy maybe could be, you know, I don't want to take him. He's the Balabai, he's the one who. Why? So when he benches, he'll be able to bench the Balabayas, thanking him for the Sudan and the Chukhuba. That's the Gemara. The Rajba asks Hashem, Rajba, if the Rabbo holds like a Yechen, that Balabayas by Tzaya, the Eirech Mivarech, why did he offer the Katchile, the Gemara said the Fedish, that he holds, 
So why did he offer the Katechile Reb Zayre to be Beitzea? And how to clod Baba Bayis Beitzea? So the Rashi answers that Reb Zayre, he bowed, the studio was made for him, so he's considered like the Balabas. Bowed was made for his Refua. So there's a safer Akuntus which was made by the Adelis. There was a big guy in, 100 years ago around that Tzitzel. He went up from Lit to Tzitzel, it's called the Adelis. He made a lot of swarm. So he says, he asks Akasha on the Rajma. So the Rajma could have answered very simple. You know why Rabbi Avo was Mechabit Rabbi Zayre with making the brach on the bread, even though in general we say Baba Bayes, but it's very simple. Because everyone knows Rabbi Zayre was a Kayin. And B'meile, a Kayin always, always had the Kiddash toy, even no matter what, you have to give him covet. And that's why he's Mechabit. That's why he thought, ah, puppy in general, it's Baba Bayes, but say, but he bought Rabbi Zayre as a Kayin, so you have to be Mechabit a Kayin. That's why he wanted the Rajma answer. So he wants to be Mechadish, an interesting word. He says like this, there's a Rashi in Ksubis, uh, Ksubis, that man Gimel says like this. When Rav Zayre was in Bavel, he's called Rav Zayre. Everyone knows Rav Zayre went up to, made Aliyah, he went up to Yisrael. Everyone knows that Rav Zayre, before he went, he fasted. He should forget Tom and Bavli, so he'd be able to learn Tom and Shami, a famous Gemara, and never speak about a lot. Anyways, so Reb Zayre, after he went up to Yisrael, you'll see, it says, it says, Rebi, Tayyut. Why? Because Smicha is not in Chutz Laretz, only in Yisrael. So while he was in Chutz Laretz, before that, it's called Rav, it's not Rebi. He didn't have Smicha. However, once he went to Yisrael, then he's called Rebi. So he says like this. He says like this, Mikhen Zagan, that this story happened at Yisrael, because Ravo was in at Yisrael, and this was already after the story which is told in Bavli that Rabbe slaughtered Rabbe Zayre, and he made Chiyas HaMesim. Right? The Mele Yashlema, that once the person, Rabbe Zayre, was killed by Rabbe, He's ice kind. It's like a new goof. He's no okay. That's why the Rajbo didn't answer the tell it's a kind, because he bowed it's Ravo. It's told him about Rav. Ravo lived next to Israel. So obviously this story happened already after the story that happened with Rabin Bavel. So once already there was this whole Indian of this and Trias Amazon. He's like a new person. Oh, he's Kayin, I'm a Kayin. So Kibbut Av? Yeah. Kibbut Av? Kibbut Av, I said yes, yes. Kibbut Av, it's an Shama, yeah. If a guy wakes up to his amazing, he's not a Kayin. That's his tenets. But you should know a lot of Achreinim bring this and they ask on him from different places. The main Kasha I see they ask is from the Gemara in Sanhedrin. Gemara says, Menayin uh, Tchias Hamesim in Atayira Rav Yechenin. It says, "On the Saturday, man who has trumas Hashem la Aaron ulbana, you should give truma to Aaron." Frakt Rav Yechenin, did he Aaron Kayim? Aaron never went into Israel to get. What did Tzitzit say? Give truma to Aaron? He never went into Israel to get truma. Ella, we have a raya. We can't teach us a lichas the Yisrael, Meisn and Leitrumba, Mikan, the Tres Ameitin, and Atayin, it's like a mother, it's like a header. It's out of So they asked, here you see, you got a Tres Ameitin. And Afa became the pastor, this is a kind, a fetish. So they asked, how could he even say such a swear? That somebody wakes up to Tres Ameitin, a kind? Lechayin, this has to do a lot in, in this question, if it's a Guf Chodesh or not. But whatever it is, we see the fetish that Aaron Achtrich Tzmei is a kain. On the other hand, you know, he was a big guy. I mean, but how are we going to answer this? I thought we can't answer it. Interesting. The Rebbe, in that sikha which I said in the Chedi Kutches, you know, the, the Gemara, in the end it says there that they asked Rabbi Yeshua in Hanani, 
Mason la us to love it that get up. Do we do they need hazor or not? When they get up, are they tummy that they need hazor? Mazet, you know, the tummy mess needs hazor shlishi or shvi. Or they don't. So the Rebbe explains that the question is, how is his Mason? If it's the old goof and compares that the new goof touches the old goof, adds and lose, that's the whole thing we're trying to speak about. Then they'll need us. However, it's a goof chadash, they won't need us. If it's a goof chadash, they won't need us. So the Rebbe asks, before that, he asked about Ben Ashunamis. You know, the Tchis HaMesim that Aliyo made with the Ben Ashunamis, you know, he, whatever, he was Mechai Mesim. They speak about Ben Ashunamis, and the Rebbe asks, the first Shem asks, why don't we have the same Shai with Ben Ashunamis? Tzad HaChazor, you don't need us. Why do you have to speak of Mesim Lass and Lavi? Vibal, they spoke already before about Ben Ashunamis. The guy was something else. Hey, Bazel, why don't they ask the same shayla instead of lots of love? The same question. He says like this. Mesim l'asid love had the Ebesh to the Katechile Bashafim, the goof in such a way that the spheres are Mesim. It's one, it's an Ikri in Yibamuna. And the Ebesh to, when he created the goof, he put in a Tchuna in it now. It should be able to be able to taste Mesim. And as it says, there it brings down, it says, Hayludim Lamas, Vameisim Nichis. They wish to make a Tchila, Kaveya and Zelt, that that's how it should be. Rashi says, by Yitzar, two Yitzurim, it's a Rashi, one Yitzur was Tchis Hameisim. The Katchila, when they wish to make, he made the possibility for Tchis. Masheke, Zabdi Rebbe, Vabena, Tchanamis. That was not his amazing in the regular way. That's not a That was such a special mess that El Yanovi or Alicia performed. So the male is up there, but male by Tchis Hamesim in Shaykh to say that it's the same goof and it needs Hazor. Why? Because to say goof because the goof Katchila was made in such a way. For Tchis HaMesim. So male, it's still the same goof at some loss. When it comes over to the other, the, the, the Mesim Shafi, the familiar, that was Tama and Mephis. It has nothing to do with the, it's totally a new goof. The huh? male, they had no question, because for sure, it's a new goof. Ain't on a kanzor. That's a Kiddush that it ever says, it's sick of there, that's it. But there's a difference between regular Tchis HaMesim, that you do need Azar because you could say it's the same goof. Mashenkin Aber, when it's done, it's Amish. The Fizer. Should be the opposite? Yeah. Okay, but as you said, the Fizer wanted to answer the Kasher from Aaron. It's all the fragging of that dead is. How could you say such a thing? Aaron Akain. So if Aaron Akain, Tak is Akain. Why? Because it's the same goof. It's the same, like the Rebbe says, that there was a Teva of Tchi in it. So the male of Shur is okay. Thus was the Adedeth that Eret took by the Bzeinet. Rabbi Shachtin was the Chayim, not the Eifin of Rebbe Tchis HaMesim. That was a special union. And Dorton is Zich and Ayin Guf. Dorton came and Taka Zog and Taka, being that's a new Guf. But he's not okay. Now what do you want to say about the other? I was saying regarding the boy, the boy is physically there. There's no new, new body, it's all life. But a person who passes yeah. away, from the loose, it's 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 but, but, I mean, who knows exactly how it happened there. And also, all right, and also thinking that bodies don't deteriorate, so it's really the same old body. No, but that doesn't matter. The goof and the I really don't think there's a difference. Uh, I think the Rebbe says that there's no Indian of Hazar when we don't see that the Malaysian and Aaron are going to come up and go to Hazar and go straight to bring the Karbans. There's no Indian. There's a story that Tzadikim Eina Mitamim. I know, I've never said that. Tzadikim Eina Mitamim. There's also another question that the Shaf comes with. It's amazing which company is the better house in the company. 
Oh, that's a different child. That's a different project, totally. That's the Gulen already. It's the great for the Rebbe, the great for the Rebbe, the Rebbe, but it's not a bit. And I say this Nikud Nu, or same, is Nikay many, many things. For instance, you know, about carbon. It says that if somebody does an Aveda, his man said that's Chayiv Chatos, he should write down the Aveda so he remember to bring a carbon Mashiach comes. And as we find the Gemara in Shabbos Yud Beis, and in Maisim, it's Rabbi Shmuel, what's his name? Uh, that he did a Shagik, the cost of Al Pinkase, the Shigibon, the Beis Hamikdash, of the Chatosh Mena. Uh, so there's a big shock of Italy about it. As a matter of fact, the Gemara says in Yuma that pay at the, if somebody did a he should write down the shear, exactly how many ounces he ate, because it could be later when Mashiach will come that ice come in that the shear he ate, they'll, they'll make the shear bigger. And for that, when he ate this man, you were potter, and you can't bring a karm chatos if it's not for, you know. If you're not high. That's how you're in human. Akaponim Achrenim say that this writing business is milsit ichtidus. That we don't find anything you have to write down. And the late Chayim, maybe you heard from the late Chayim, Chayim Palaji, he says that midaf nishraim, because when Mashiach will come, the Lush is the ever to serve yet name in what you Chayim. Who yere chatoim will tell everyone what Chayim. But nevertheless, everyone agrees that for carbon, for chattas, now you'll be nechoy lots of love. And, yeah, and this was, it doesn't tell a lot to write it down. It's been that a chamusu, you know, to remember it. But everyone agrees, a lot of achrein agree, that la'asid love, you have to be a carbon. But but ever the medayik from Rashi, Rashi, shema yivana beis hamikdash b'yamav. B'yamav means, in his days, then you'll be chai. What happens if it's already after Tchis HaMesim and you did Avedis? Then you're potter. That's how they're medayik. But on the other hand, the Leif Chaim also brings that according to the Arizal, even after Tchis HaMesim, you will know the Avedis, the, the Mashiach will tell you, and you have to bring a chatos even for the Avedis you did. The Rebbe, very interesting, the Rebbe spoke a camera problem about it, there's an order of the because I'm finishing in exactly two minutes. I don't want to hold people. The Rebbe Shitta Yishinom of the was no. The Baal now, there's no Beis Hamikdash, and a guy that's Tshuva Bishlemus, you don't need any card even later. The Lushen is, we never heard about it. I was saying no later, Inu, I was saying no, we didn't hear about this whole thing. And the Rebbe says, how about why the Bishmol from Elisha did write down the Shabbos, wrote down? He says, because the Yomov, there was a possibility the king gave a Rishoyim to move Beit HaMikdash. So he thought. So it was like, it was like an S, it was in Bilt Beit HaMikdash. But when Manas said, that finished. That's what the Rebbe named done. But, and you, Vav Tishrei, that year after, the Rebbe spoke a whole seal on Yuma on this evening. But later in Chayil Chadal already, there's a, everyone knows the other Mikla the Asid Lovey. Why do we need other Mikla the Lovey? Because they're killing them. Every night for Bitzman Azeh, somebody killed the Asid Lovey. You have to run to other Mikla to shake it. So he writes in the other that even the Yafilim Tim Tzalaima, like I wrote, look at the secret that you don't have to bring a carbon. The Mashiach comes. So why here do you have to go to God? Because that's Kapara and it's Kapara. This is a einish, a einish, a feinish, you have to do the einish. So I'm saying, from that deal, from that lotion, we see the Rebbe was like, I'm doing him to lema, that, you know, you can say it either way. But I just want to point out that the Indian of, the, if you're chayiv on tri, before Tchis Mates or not, could also be told totally in this question, if you learn it, part of Chadash is Khan, then there's no chayiv anymore. If you learn it's the same, then the chat is in the Gadi's order. Even later, you have to explain to you before. Okay, so don't have a canoe. Yeah. 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 Yeah.